that time of week for Pet Project and I'm here at Border City Paws Animal Rescue and today we have a dog. We've done, oh, we've been with cats for the last few weeks but we finally have a dog. His name is Casper and he is by far one of the sweetest, calmest puppies that I've ever met in my life. Tell me a little bit about Casper's story and you know just how he ended up here at the SPCA. So he was brought in as a stray, I believe by bylaw. I was just running around town. He's a very sweet guy. We're guessing he's about five and a half, six months. I'm not 100% sure of the breed. It's always a guess. But we're thinking maybe Shepherd, uh, Golden Retriever mix maybe. Um, very, very sweet dog. Mm -hmm. I don't think he would hurt a fly. He's good with the other dogs. He's good with cats. Um, we got bunnies up here and he doesn't even notice them. He just wants love. He's a very, very good boy. And I think he's the type of dog that would do anything to please his yeah, owner. Yeah, for sure. He hasn't made a single noise since. No barking, <laughs> no kind of uh, growling or anything like that. I kind of described him as being like an older soul. Yes. Trapped in a puppy's body. <laughs> so he's very, very sweet. Um, very, uh, so would you recommend really any household, maybe a little bit older children? Honestly, I think he would do good in any household. He's very, very gentle. Even when I'm giving him treats, he, you know, already is so gentle taking them. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Um, so, yeah, I think he would do good with any age in there. He is going to need a bit more training. I mean, obviously, he's still jumping up. But, I mean, I don't think he's had any training. So, yeah. that's all we got to work on is jumping up. We're doing good. <laughs> yeah, no, that's definitely perfect, especially with bigger dogs. Exactly. It may sometimes be a little bit harder to corral up but like if she if he uh, has the breeds you know the golden lab or the retriever or the shepherd they're usually very smart breeds very smart so he seems to be catching on quite quickly <laughs> and all that no that's awesome how have you been doing with you know numbers of you know the animals coming in and so not too bad for dogs um, dogs were not doing too too bad right now cats that's a different story um, it's been quite crazy with cats lately um, especially with the weather getting colder we want to get them in but we just ask the public to kind of be patient with us if you do find a stray give us a call that way we can get you on the waiting list obviously with it getting colder kittens or injured animals or sick animals we will find room for them one way or another yes. um, if you do see an older cat though just call us report it to bylaw and then as soon as we get some room we can get hopefully get the cats in here before it gets too cold out which is awesome always having you know that place for them to go because you know especially around this time of exactly. year exactly it seems there's always an increase now you had a couple of events past but you had a lot of success, especially with your tattoo event and then the silent auction. Tell me a little bit about how that yeah, went. Yeah, so it was an amazing weekend. It was a lot of fun. So we had our tattoo fundraiser at Marked Up Tattoos. And I believe when I talked to Mark, he said we did 207 tattoos. And with the grand total of $16,807. So I was super happy with that number. It was so nice to see. We had a lineup out the door the whole time because when they were keeping up on appointments, so we did end up taking walk-ins through the day and it was just, we had, you know, a steady line all day long. It was really nice. Mark and his staff and volunteers did an amazing job, you know, People didn't really have to wait longer than 20 minutes to get in and out. So, yeah, that went really good. And then we had the Slay the Night drag show that night, which was a lot of fun, a lot of good laughs. Um, yeah, they put on an amazing show, and they did a silent auction for us. And, and I believe they raised $733 out of that. So that was just an amazing Saturday for us. Yes, it was a huge <laughs> success. And then you obviously, you have your carnival coming up this month. So another, I'm sure that's going to be just as <laughs> successful as your other months. <laughs> so yeah, we have that coming up at the end of the month. I think I said the 25th, but it's actually the 26th, the Saturday, the last of the month. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're kind of looking for any vendors or anybody who wants to volunteer. If you are interested in doing that, give the shelter a call and we can get that going. Um, it's actually free for vendors. Uh, we do ask if you want to give us a donation afterwards. That's up to you. We appreciate it. But yeah, no, it's a good way to get your product out there for free. So Oh, for sure. And do you have anything else kind of in the works for the future? Or yeah, so we actually on November 12th, we are going to be at PetSmart all day with a bunch of kittens. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an adoption. It's their uh, week-long adoption event. Unfortunately, we're only doing the one day with them. But yeah, that'll be Saturday, November 12th. So come on down to PetSmart and you can meet tons of kittens and maybe even possibly some puppies. Now, I know uh, just kind of 
uh, going off on the PetSmart, you've, you've taken a few dogs or kittens to different stores, like you were at HomeSense with a bunch of puppies. How do those kind of um, work and how, have, how successful have you seen those kind of sh uh, pop-ups? So yeah, they've been really successful. It's kind of a nice way, you know, to just kind of come in in a different setting than the mm -hmm. shelter. This place can be a little stressful for everybody. Um, so yeah, no, they, you know, a lot of businesses have just reached out to us. They let us come set up there and then people can come in and meet them. If you are in the market for it, I always say fill out your application ahead of time mm -hmm. online. Then that way you would be able to leave with an animal that day. If not, we'll just review your application. We usually get back to you by the next day. I know when I went to HomeSense when you guys had that litter of puppies, someone was already filling out an application for one of them. So, you know, that's a it's an interesting you go for shopping and you end up going home with a new <laughs> with a new pet, which is always which is I think the best kind of shopping. It really is, right? You end up finding your forever a friend that you didn't even know you needed. Exactly. <laughs> now again, we always ask, is there any specific donations that you need or, you know, donations in general, food, uh, toys, anything like that? So yeah, actually I'm happy you asked that. So um, we definitely need puppy wet food. We're good on the kibble right now and we can always use more kitten food wet and kibble. And actually you mentioning the toys kind of funny because I went to go get some cat toys this morning for some of the kittens and we are running extremely low. So with all the kittens in it's good to stimulate them with the toys so yeah we could definitely use a lot of cat toys all right well thank you so much for showing us introducing us to casper and hopefully he uh he gets his forever home very soon he'd make a perfect addition to any sort of family he has been so calm and so loving and gentle during this whole interview so i'm sure he will have no problem finding his home thank you Pet Project is sponsored by the Pet Pad. For total pet care, think Pet Pad.